You're watching CTV News, Calgary. From planting trees to cleaning up neighborhoods, people around the world are doing their part on this, the 52nd anniversary of Earth Day. And an important part of the planet is, of course, our water. We're joined now by Francois de gaspé Bobien from Aqua Action. Francois, thank you for joining us. My pleasure, Joel. Well, it's so nice to have you on the show. Now, today is a day, obviously, centered on raising awareness and inspiring people to take action. Would you argue the climate crisis is more pressing right now, more than ever before? Are we on borrowed time? We are on borrowed time. And what's surprising is that we as Canadians don't realize that climate change is actually a water crisis. But 93% of all the issues that stem from the global warming is being felt in water, whether it be drought, which we've seen in Canada, forest fires, the, the gamut spans the country. And the time to act is now. We are on borrowed time. Mm -hmm. and, and we're seeing that with report after report, but maybe not urgency always uh, in terms of reflecting on that. So Canadians are heavy consumers of water. In fact, we have one quarter of the world's fresh water. So knowing this, what do we as Canadians need to know about the current crisis relating to the ecosystem we live in? So good question. We can do a lot, and we started a movement called Aqua Action, which is basically to get Canadians to lean in and understand what's at stake. You said it accurately, mm -hmm. almost a quarter of the fresh water is here in Canada. And yet, unfortunately, we find ourselves contaminating it. We can redress the issues. Um, I'll give you an example. If you take your wallet out and look at 52 credit cards in your hand, Joel, mm -hmm. that's what each Canadian is consuming per year. You're basically drinking through microplastics the equivalent of a credit card per week. Um, and that's just one example. So what we can do is what we have decided to do, uh, our foundation working with other Canadians is to lean in and help young entrepreneurs find solutions, be it microplastics. Uh, you probably know that when you're taking some water from your faucet, about a third of that fresh water that's been treated never gets there. It leaks in our pipes. So one of the examples that you and I were talking earlier is about using artificial intelligence to find out where the breaks are gonna happen in the pipes beforehand and get the municipal um, individuals to, to fix the pipes ahead of time. So there's things that we can do as Canadians uh, and also decrease, we're actually consuming, unfortunately, twice the water what our European friends are consuming. So less consumption and also addressing the crisis that we're facing with our fresh water supply. That's such a fascinating stat to me that we are taking in so much more water than our European counterparts. I, I want to talk about the youth and the fact that you've teamed up with them with Aqua Action. So what does that look like? How are we empowering them? So we launch an Aqua Hacking um, in every municipality across the country. And what we're doing is we first go to municipalities and say, what are your top 10 challenges? We take those 10 challenges and we go to the youth, the students, and we say, all right, these are the crises that we're facing. Can you use technology? Can you find solutions to the uh, crises that we're facing? From those aqua hacking challenges across the country, 36 companies have been launched. Now we're nonprofit, mm -hmm. we're helping the entrepreneurs to come up with those solutions, but they become for-profit organizations. And by the way, half of those companies are run by women. They're taking those solutions and it's not just for the benefit of all Canadians, but also able to export them abroad. So we're finding solutions here in Canada for all of us, but also enabling those entrepreneurs to take uh, their ideas and their concepts abroad and, and sell the knowledge that we've gained here in Canada. Yeah, and a lot of those entrepreneurs are very young. I am so impressed with seeing how the youth are being empowered. Uh, you mentioned a few examples there, another one being the imaging technology to detect and identify microplastics. Any more examples for us? I saw a really interesting one about fishing lures. Yes, yeah, so you can use biodegradable fishing lures. A lot of what we do as Canadians, we don't realize that we're having uh, a negative impact on the environment. And it just takes a little bit of thinking to say, well, what about fishing lures and make them biodegradable so that when you go fishing and if you lose some or whatever happens, there's no problem. It'll just naturally decompose the environment. So yet again, it's coming back to what's at stake mm -hmm. and finding entrepreneurs, young tech innovators that can bring those solutions. I mean, take Lake Winnipeg, for instance. We've got pollution that's coming from nutrients mm -hmm. that are being uh, coming and it's turning into a green lake. It's the largest freshwater lake in the world that's turning green. Our freshwater lakes should not be turning green. So these are about finding solutions, bring them to market, 
and making us all better off. Yeah, all things that we need to work on, especially to make a healthier, greener future for all of us. Thank you so much for the urgency for joining us on Earth Day. For more information, you can go online to aquaaction.org or find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks again. Thank you, Joel.